Today, um, I'd like to present KT's future network vision and share the basic structure of our SDN platform, which is one of the solutions that we use. And in addition, um, I'd like to introduce several use cases based on our open SDN platform. And, and I'd like to talk about my opinion about SDN's role for network slicing, which is the main service technology of upcoming 5G network. Uh, this is our perspective of a future network <coughs> based on SDN, NFB, and cloud technologies. Uh, with this virtualized software-defined infrastructure, which is called the STI platform, we are expecting three benefits. First, service providers will have the agility to build a rapid ICT service upon customers' requests. Second, infrastructure intelligence make it more easier to detect and recover the failure. Third, a platform that ensures openness will allow us to form an ecosystem of developers and users. Kit is constantly striving to develop valuable SDI service that can be delivered with next generation 5G networks. In this situation, Onus is playing an important role in our SDI platform, and I will share our SDN work in the following slides. <coughs> Excuse me. Openness allows us uh, our platform to work more easily with multiple services and devices. Our Lean NOS platform based on Onus have a northbound and southbound interface, so we can integrate various third-party SDN applications for various purposes. For network switching, we support various southbound protocols such as OpenFlow and NetConf, etc. The service-oriented owners concept is being used as an NOS of our platform, and we are work working together to create a standardized NOS interface with several service carriers. This is our very basic architecture of owners SDN platforms. There are SDN orchestrator, and there are SDN applications and controller and white boxes. Now, SDN orchestrator manage many different SDN controllers to guarantee end-to-end -end connectivity. And for SDN application and controller, we are trying to keep the concept of openness. And we use Junko on us 1.9 for on us, and we use OpenFlow. There are five main, main functions for this basic on us STM platform. The first thing is network provisioning, and second is flow control, third is traffic analysis, and topology view, and we have many application-based service, service function chaining, virtual tenant network, net, BOD, load balancing, something like that. In order to provide network slicing by SDN, we are very uh, focused on developing for basic service technology. The first service is I'm so sorry, uh, this is not a, a final version which I sent to this office. Um, Liam, can you change the file which I sent to you last night? I have one more slide, but it is not a version.
um, my final version is not in here. So um, before I talk about this slide, uh, I want to uh, tell you uh, what basic technology is needed for network slicing from the viewpoint of SFDN. So I think there are four main technology <coughs> to make a network slice. The first thing is tenant network control. And the second thing is orchestration. And the third thing is uh, detailed service connection, I mean service chaining, and traffic control for each network slice upon user's request. And the fourth and last thing is uh, network control, which is specially focused on mobile network because it generates most high volume traffic nowadays. So uh, after this slide, uh, uh, I would like to talk to you that those four technology can work together to make network slide service. But also, it can be worked individually as a service for our uh, powered for service. And so, when the slide ends, this is the following slide. Uh, as I told you, the first main technology for network slides is uh, control the tenant network. So, this is the individual user case of tenant network. Currently, um, we are uh, developing a POC, uh, SDN application, which is based on uh, Onos SDN platform. <coughs> As you can see in this picture, uh, KT is what, uh, sorry. KT is virtualized um, central office, which is called Edge Cloud, have, have many kind of uh, VNFs and PNFs. Uh, and at customer premises, uh, as the switch is the only thing that customer needs for using the services in Edge. Uh, we called this service model as centralized virtualized CPE. Uh, this centralized uh, VCP service is provided uh, various and high quality services with more or less limitation of computing or networking. Uh, for this type of hosted service, uh, we used to manage or create tenant network manually, but you know, it is very uh, expensive and time-consuming task. But when we adapt SDN VTN application, uh, network isolation is done very quickly because this SDN controller control all of switches which is on premises or, on, or in edges at the same time. The customer perspective is exactly the same as before, but the advantage from operational exchange is will increase. In addition, the SDN controller can be used to identify the entire network at a glance uh, and detect failure of every virtual tenant network. With this SDN application, we can offer low-cost and high-performance CP service to our customers and easy way of management to our operators. And for the second main technology is orchestration. Uh, as I described in previous slide, in order to provide various centralized VCP services, uh, an integrated management approach is needed to ensure connectivity between the various SDN controller in access network and premises and intra edge segment. To do this kind of service in nationwide, we have planned to build SDN orchestrator in the northbound of SDN controller. The SDN control orchestrator using the owner's northbound interface is responsible for flexible management of multiple SDN controller to be deployed, deployed from various different uh, service domain and from different vendors to meet business requirements. And 
One of the main function of orchestrate is multi-tenant management for end-to-end -end network connection for each client. And I will explain more detail in the following slide. Uh, you can see there are so many customers, and let's assume this is an enterprise case. The customer A wants to extend their LAN to his other branch. Without orchestrator, uh, each setting for virtual and physical switches should be done uh, in edge and premises and access separately. <coughs> but when we use orchestrator, uh, it is done in a short time because, as I told you, the orchestrator controls many different domain controllers at the same time. So from this SDN orchestrator, we can deploy end-to-end -end network service even if it is used in enterprise field or customer field more easier and more quickly, quick way. In addition, as you can see this board line, operator can have the entire topology view in one screen. So it is very easy, easy to check service in a link or switch level. So this end-to-end -end connectivity is the main role of SDN orchestrator in our network platform business. The third thing is um, related to connect service in order and control the bandwidth and load balancing and network access control for each network slice. Uh, we expect that there, are, there will be so many requirements from many customers when we offer the network slice based service uh, to meet that customer or uh, market needs. Uh, we already finished, finished some kind of the functions and we are still in trial for other functions. First, SFC stands for Service Function Chaining. Uh, we control SDN switch and virtual switches with us to implement SFC. Uh, with this function, uh, we can provide tenant-specific network service. Second, bandwidth on demand. As an operator like KT, it is very important to, to guarantee SLA or QS. So we can provide this bandwidth, bandwidth on demand feature with honors controller and white box switches. And for the load balance and net, we are in a trial stage, and, but we expect that it will work properly uh, when it compared with other software or hardware appliances. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the last use case for handling the wire network. Uh, KT, I commercialized LTE service for enterprise last year, which is called private LTE. This service enables enterprise mobile subscribers to connect directly to their private network using our KT cellular network. When users turn on private LTE mode on their mobile devices, all mobile traffic from the devices can be controlled according to the policy which is given by their company. This service can increase enterprise security and the user can get rid of get rid of using complicated VPN application on their mobile devices. But it requires numerous, very numerous uh, passive network operations to join and change and, and revoke, revoke procedures. Uh, especially when adding this line to each company, it takes a lot of manual tests to make connections between KT network to the enterprise network. For example, um, when assigned a P gateway is a core component of LTE PC, it takes a lot of manual tasks 
to connect P gateway to the uh, front end uh, devices of each enterprise network. So we are promoting SDN based PLT POC to get efficiency to of QS and uh, operation. Uh, as you can see, these points are done by manually currently, but we are uh, trying to uh, automate this uh, net, uh, procedure, uh, which is related to uh, provision or setting QS and flow control by owner space at the end controller. We expect that this kind of uh, SDN control model for uh, mobile core infrastructure will be even more needed when all mobile core network components such as EPC is virtualized and deployed in the cloud data center. Um, <clears throat> we are covered um, main technology from our perspective, uh, we, I mentioned four technologies. Um, let me remind you. First is uh, virtual tenant network control. And the second thing is orchestration for entity and network. And the third thing is um, service chaining and QS and load balancing and that. And the final thing is handling of mobile core infrastructure. With, with those technologies, um, now we have or have plans for uh, adapting this technology to uh, upcoming 5G network for network slicing. The, stru the structure you see is a very basic structure of 5G network. You know, um, this is the area where telcos focus most. One of the biggest services delivery technology of 5G is network slicing, you know, and that is the main topic of my presentation. You, the basic concept is, um, I think uh, everybody know, but uh, let me remind you, the basic concept is to provide a dedicated network and quality for specific terminal or service. Uh, the SDN technology, which provides the use case described before, is equally applied to the provide and the network slicing. Each domain controller is applied to access and inter edge segment and inter edge segment uh, work together with SDN orchestrator, which is used to dynamically control all of these controllers according to the service requirement. Right, well, we still need to define more detail for this network slicing structure or mechanism. Um, but we believe that network control technology such as auto provisioning, tenant <coughs> control, and packet forward control, which we have confirmed from our trial so far, are enough to build this structure and perform actual network slicing. I'd like to show you two typical user cases that can be expected when this SDN control technology is applied to 5G network. Um, the first thing is massive, con massive connection based, based IoT service. And the second thing is mission critical connection based vehicle control. Uh, I think uh, these two examples are very good for explanation for 5G's high capacity network. In the case of IoT, it is necessary to simultaneously control more than thousands of links at the same time. And it is difficult to gauge the quality of service by manual network settings such as addition, deletion, and modification. So we expect that SDNs also auto provisioning and flow control features will be very useful for IoT service. And for vehicle control, 
require ultra low latency, you know, and constant QS. So it is necessary to maintain every link dynamically. So this requirement can also be supported by SDN's flow control technology. Yes, um, this is the last slide. And so far, um, we covered uh, our owner space OpenSDM platform, and several use cases include 5G network slicing. And of course, uh, there are not many commercial references of owners from the viewpoint of a telco. Even more, SDN itself is still in its early stage in Korea, so I think there will be many challenges of commercialization of those huge cases which I told you today. Um, especially for operators, um, I think it is necessary to consider and improve uh, about efficiency of operation and securing of quality and interworking with existing network infrastructure is very important. So, by addressing these challenges, ultimately hoping that our platform will provide an uh, improved user experience with a sustainable quality. For that purpose, we will uh, continue to make effort. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. To this end, I'd like to say by saying that we need to organically collaborate with academy vendors, operators, the main players of this ecosystem on technical openness. Thank you.